Japan's public TV broadcaster, NHK, held an open house at its research labs outside of Tokyo. NHK is experimenting with methods of showing TV images to the blind. This system uses tiny dots that move to mimic patterns on the screen. The dots here vibrate at different rates to show different information. Here, a haptic feedback device is used to provide the sensation of touching a three-dimensional shape. This is a more advanced model, with five of the feedback devices combined. The system reacts when the user's finger slides over virtual curves or edges. It attempts to recreate the sensation of running your finger over an actual object. NHK is also gearing up for the increase in internet-connected TVs. This tablet can be used to point out interesting things on the TV screen, which are then shared with the user's social contacts and appear on their TV screens in real time. The system keeps a real-time tally of how popular a TV show is. This application allows children to draw and share pictures via their TVs and tablets, which are then shared on screen with their approved contacts. NHK has also been aggressively pushing the super high vision format, which has so-called 8K resolution, measuring 7,680 by 4,320 pixels. Its newest camera, developed this month, is much smaller than existing models, although it uses individual pixels for different colors, and so has a smaller actual resolution than 8K. A major issue with 8K broadcasting is dealing with the massive amount of video data that are generated. The new camera requires a computer to do so. It is equipped with 1.5 terabytes of flash memory, which can hold only about 50 minutes of video. The video is too heavy for current satellite technology, and so must be sent from recording trucks to a broadcast center using fiber cable. For IDG News Service in Tokyo, this is Jay Alabaster.